So my name is Martin. I am originally from Spain and I have been living in Germany since the year 2016. Uh, so around seven years now. Um, so I first started I, well, when I was in Spain, I studied psychology. And then when I came to Germany, um, I started a master's degree in business psychology. So kind of like <laughs> not related to tech at all. Uh, and then after working in a non-tech field for a while, I found that uh, that was just basically not for me. Um, so I decided to join uh, a bootcamp and then uh, WBS. Um, so I did uh, the full stack web dev course, uh, full stack and app web dev course. Um, uh, yeah, um, here we are. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty amazing. Uh, good question. Um, so I, I think I, I spoke with Daniel um, in my first interview with, uh, or my first talk with, with WBS, and I, I, and I asked him like, you know, am I too old uh, for this? Because I was, I was 29 uh, at that time. I'm 31 now. Um, and yeah, for me it was like really, I, I thought like, okay, is it too late for me? You know, because at some point I, I just realized that it was the right thing for me. So I was sure. I wanted to do programming, but I was just worried that maybe like I don't have enough time or, uh, you know, like it's just like I'm, I would not be prepared enough to, to do it. So like, is it possible, first of all, to start from scratch? Because I, I didn't really have any coding experience before. And is it possible with my age? Um, yeah. And he was, he was really comforting in that sense. He told me like, really like it was, I'm not, you know, a weird case or anything like that. There were many other others in my situation and the numbers were good. Uh, like, you know, like the, the amount of people that started the course with those uh, conditions and and end up finding a job was, was, was quite good. So yeah, that really motivated me. Yeah, um, I mean, starting with the highest, I think um, and maybe it's also related to why I like programming uh, in the first place. I think like building stuff, you know, in sort of speak with your own hands. Um, I think it's, it's something that, you know, like you, that people like. Um, so for me, I don't know, like the fact that I could like work on a website and see it live and, you know, like bring my ideas into it and, you know, like kind of like the sky's the limit. Like there were a lot of possibilities. Um, I think that, that, was, that was really amazing. Uh, so first of all, like, I, I guess the, if I have to say one moment, I can say the, the very first moment I put a website live. Uh, so it was like this little piece or this little corner of the internet that it's, that it's been created by me. I think that that was really an amazing feeling. Um, as per the worst, um, I mean, I, I cannot exactly think of one moment, but I guess uh, you know, when learning programming, anybody can, can tell you, like, there's some frustration, uh, which is part of the process. Uh, like, you, you're going to hit walls and you're going to, like, have some piece of code that you have no idea why it's not working. And you're going to, like, run into some documentation that, that is outdated um, and you're going to ask people and they're going to be able to give you an answer. So it's like, I guess you're going to get stuck um, at some point um, and that is frustrating but uh, but yeah um, I don't I don't see it as a really you know like something that uh, I don't know that I hate it or anything it's just like it's part of the process right so it's I guess it's you can call it a challenge I would say um, challenging moments yeah those uh, I think particularly if I can think of one there was one time I basically blow, broke uh, Node.js uh, so I had no, no you know, I, I was just playing around different versions because I was doing some tutorial and I basically messed up my versions and Node was not working altogether. So I, I tried like running other programs that I had built and literally none of them worked. Um, and I was like, what, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? And at the time I didn't, I didn't really know. Then I, later on I figured out that I just had to like uh, delete Node and, and reinstall it. But that time I freaked out. <laughs> Yeah, um, maybe I can start with what happened sooner, which is the job application process. Uh, so I started the bootcamp on a 27th of uh, September on the year 2021. Excuse me. And um, I think I started applying for jobs around Christmas that year. Um, it, I think I realized it was a bit early. I was doing part time bootcamp. So my, my bootcamp was supposed to start in March. So around midway, I, I started applying because I really took it, you know, 
seriously or intensively and, and I felt like I was ready. Um, but I feel, I think I, what I remember from that process is that it was really, it was more, I don't know, it was not as easy as, as I thought, as I expected. Uh, finding a job, you know, with, with little experience uh, can be challenging. Um, it doesn't mean that big companies don't trust you, but it means that uh, you need to like gain their trust uh, maybe more in a, in a harder way than people with, with experience. So I remember I had to do a little, I was getting the interviews, uh, but I, ha I had to spend a lot of time doing, um, you know, challenges and stuff. So it was, it was, a, it was an intense process. At the end, I mean, it went well. Uh, it normally, uh, this, this process tend to, to go well because you, when you apply for a few jobs, you have a good CV, uh, you do well in the interviews, then you know you start getting you start getting traction. So I think at the end I could choose between three different offers, which was which was really great. Um, yeah, no, I remember I I think I like I said I was supposed to finish my bootcamp at in March at the end of March, and I think by f end of February I signed a contract. So it was a little bit before I finished, which was really great uh, with the current with the company I am currently in, which is Claire Me. Um, and I've been working there ever since. Um, it's been, I mean, I, I have to say the technology that I learned during the course was exactly, <laughs> it, was, it was funny because it's not always the case, but in my case, it was exactly what I used in my job, uh, which is the MERN stack, Mongo Express React and Node. And that's what they were using at Claire. So the coding challenge was like one of, just one of the apps that I had been doing all, all year. So that was, that was really nice, uh, and I guess that's probably why they hired me because I I, I was so used to doing them that um, it, it came it came pretty natural. Um, yeah, I know, and I think I mean the, the experience as a working as a developer in in Claremy has been really good. Um, yeah, w what can I say? I mean, you keep learning, right? There is a lot of things uh, you know related to working with people and stuff that um, in you, you have to learn in a job. It's not so easy to learn in, in the bootcamp, right? Um, but yeah, it's been I can I can only say good things about the experience so far, to be honest. I guess on a professional level, um, I wasn't, I realized after the bootcamp that I wasn't really motivated in what I was doing. So I think it really put me in a different position professional wise. Um, you know, I was just doing a job, uh, not really I don't know, uh, not really looking for like an extra step or anything like, I don't know, curiosity, stuff like that. I think professionally that has changed. Uh, so now I, it's almost like I could do it without, you know, like without getting paid, you know, it's, it's not like, it's not like that, but, it, but um, it's kind of like that feeling. Like I would just do it because I like it, honestly. Um, and on a personal level, I, yeah, I guess it, I become a bit more focused on my job than before. I think it, that also affects me personally. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm able now to, for example, like combine my hobbies with uh, my my job, which is really nice. For example, I like I like video games, uh, and now I'm able to create them. So that's amazing, right? And sometimes I do them just like as a side project, just for fun. Um, Um, yeah, I guess it, that's easy. I would just have done it sooner. <laughs> I was wondering if I was too old. Um, so that's, you know, I wouldn't, instead of having wondering that, I would, I would just have done it sooner. Um, so I guess for me, well, like, I, I mean, I, thankfully I found like what I think I, I like to do, um, professionally. Um, so I'm, I'm thankful for that, but it would be even better if I found it sooner. Um, that's, I think the only thing I would, I would really remark at this point. Yeah.